I would really like to thank you all being here. It's a very nice crowd of you, and uh, it's very interesting that you, many of you know already a little bit more or less about Lithuania, where you are committed to travel. Very good. Uh, spend as much as you can your money in Lithuania. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> also, I would like to say first, so we have uh, we have an embassy here with the 20 people working at the embassy. We have senior diplomats here. Yes. Like two months after Soviet we declared our independence from Soviet Union. And uh, I have never seen Soviet troops, I have never seen a Soviet flag somewhere in the cities, and I never heard Soviet anthem yet, a couple of times on YouTube, but that's it. Uh, we have three international airports. We are known as one of the best country, one of the regions that have best roads, and we're European Union's prime transport center. True fact. And so, I traveled kind of a lot before coming here to the US, and as being a new generation, as representing a new generation of Lithuanians, uh, I encountered a lot of uh, stereotypes that I really didn't like, and they have nothing to do with the reality. So, well, in Lithuania, we speak Russian. <laughs> no, we don't. Surprise, surprise, in Lithuania, we speak Lithuanian. And that's a proof from a nice piece of New York Times from 1990s about the language of Lithuania. So, we speak the most archaic living, living Indo-European language. <laughs> <laughs> Lithuania, Lithuania is a big village somewhere next to Russia. Yeah. So, let me address the first part of this stereotype. Lithuania is a big village. So, if you think that Lithuania is a big village, so let me tell you that Lithuania is actually larger in size than Belgium, Derm Denmark, the Netherlands, or Switzerland. Job. But <clears throat> addressing that Lithuanians, that stereotype in mostly Western Europe, that Lithuanians are uneducated and able to work on the low paid jobs. So let me tell you that Lithuanians are one of the best educated Central and Eastern Europe countries. And let me give you some figures. More than 90% of the Lithuanian population has secondary or higher education. And it's one of the highest in the EU. One more kind of shocking figure. 91.7% of Lithuanian women aged from 25 to 64 have secondary or higher education. And it is the highest figure in the whole EU. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 